Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Back in September of this year, I posted a video that Microsoft had confirmed an issue regarding specific printers that could affect the installation of Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, just to do a quick recap, the original problem originated with printers using the Microsoft RPP class driver or universal print class driver. And according to Microsoft, um, was affecting Windows 11 version 22H2. And um, for some users, that was actually affecting them upgrading to Windows 11 version 22H2. That's why Microsoft um, placed a safeguard hold and block for some devices upgrading to the feature update. Now, just a quick video to let you know that if you were and have been affected by this printer issue, that Microsoft has recently updated their known issues and notifications website over on Microsoft Docs and um, that the safeguard hold has now been lifted. And that hold was actually lifted, that safeguard hold was lifted on the 10th of November, which was a couple of days ago, because today we are already on the 21st of November in my region. So 10, 11 days ago, Microsoft actually lifted that safeguard hold, saying that any printer still affected by this issue should now get resolved automatically during the upgrade to Windows 11 version 22H2. And um, so if you haven't been seen Windows 11, the uh, 22H2 feature update appearing on your Windows update page and you were affected by this printer safeguard hold in block, then just go and check for updates. And if you are still not seeing the feature update appear on your Windows update page after checking for updates, then what I would suggest, as I always do, is just go restart your device and then come back and check for updates. And if you have no other safeguard holds that are placed on your device, then um, as mentioned, restarting your device should help that issue and then just come back and check for updates. And if that still doesn't work, as I've mentioned in two previous videos, the simplest would be at the end of the day is just to uninstall any printer that may be causing the issue. And once that printer is uninstalled, then upgrade to Windows 11 version 22 H2 and then just reinstall any printer and that will solve the issue. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.